Polacks from 25 other European countries to take the Eurovision crown in Copenhagen Sunday. A victory not just for me, but also for those people who believe in a future that functions without discrimination and which is based on tolerance and respect. Those words were widely seen as a swipe at Russia. Last year, the Russian government introduced laws against what it called homosexual propaganda. In Moscow, there was widespread incredulity at Conchita Verse victory. This is unbelievably awful. It shows how much the cult of homosexuality is flourishing in Europe. In my view, this is just a horrifying event, and God forbid that it comes here. I'm afraid to imagine what would happen if this happened in Russia. Russia came in seventh in the competition, but its performers were booed by large sections of the crowd. The Russian judges awarded all their votes to former Soviet states. In Stockholm, partygoers praised the Eurovision judges for selecting first. They did a great representation of their country, and uh, obviously, as a political stance, making their song and the singer a very uh, key figure in the, in the political climate that we have today in Europe. So definitely, yes, the right song did win. That political climate has become more hostile. Russia's takeover of Crimea from Ukraine in March has been strongly condemned by Europe and the West, which also blame Moscow for the current unrest in eastern Ukraine. The Kremlin denies involvement. When Russian conductor Valery Gergiev, a high-profile supporter of President Putin, staged a concert in London Sunday, some 30 anti-Putin protesters held a short demonstration as he took to the stage. Among them was human rights activist Peter Tatchell. Shame on you! Shame on you! We felt it was very important to challenge Valery Gergiev over his support for President Putin his endorsement of Russia's anti-gay law and his approval of Russia's actions in Ukraine. Um, for him to be able to perform unchallenged would have been very wrong. Although it appears Russia is facing the start of a cultural backlash in Europe, there was one surprising result. Both Russia and Ukraine voted for each other in the Eurovision Song Contest. Henry Ridgewell for VUA News, London.